So one of the tests that I recommend that everyone with thyroid disease or suspecting they have something going on with their thyroid is to have their thyroid antibodies checked. This is a very common test. Most doctors don't even know much about it or do it um, without you asking for it. So I want to go over with you, first of all, why it's really important to have these checked and then what you can also do about it and things you can kind of look for. But if you could do me a very big favor, if you could go ahead and subscribe to this channel and then hit the bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video. So um, like I mentioned, um, thyroid antibodies um, is something that I think everyone should get checked regardless um, of if the doctor's saying, you know, I don't suspect you have it. Um, Hashimoto's um, is one of the uh, a thyroid disease basically that is um, called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And it's a very, very common autoimmune condition in which the immune system starts to attack your thyroid gland. Um, in some cases, that's actually one of the main causes that leads to hypothyroidism. So when we have these thyroid antibodies present, um, you would consider um, to have something called Hashimoto's typically. The doctor would obviously have to make that diagnosis. But my point of bringing this up is that about like 90 to 95 percent of people that have hypothyroidism actually have um, something called Hashimoto's where they have these elevated thyroid antibodies and they don't even know it and that's the um, real tricky part with this is that's why I think everyone that um, if you do have hypothyroidism you should absolutely have the antibodies checked to make sure and rule out is that actually what's causing your hypothyroidism because so many people um, that have hypothyroidism it is actually because of these thyroid antibodies and they just don't know it now Keep in mind that thyroid antibodies, are, they're not all inherently bad. Um, they're actually a very important part of our immune system. Um, we actually need them, but in some people that immune system will go kind of wonky, it'll go awry, and it will start to produce antibodies against your normal tissue. So like your thyroid. Um, in the case of like thyroid um, autoimmune disorders, like Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, or even Graves. Graves is when um, we have like an overactive, um, the antibodies are causing this overactivity um, of the thyroid. Um, the immune system will mistakenly produce antibodies that will actually attack your own thyroid cells. So when they go unchecked, um, these antibodies can lead to a lot of inflammation in the thyroid. That's why it's called um, uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Um, the destruction of the gland may eventually actually lead the person to go into this hypothyroid or hyperthyroid state like i mentioned now not everyone um who has these thyroid antibodies is hypothyroid and that's why you have to keep in mind that you know hashimoto's or when we have thyroid antibodies present that's an autoimmune disease so not everyone's going to have hypothyroidism however when it's left unchecked that's when people eventually do end up with it and I've worked with numerous women where they have never had their thyroid antibodies checked. They've had hypothyroidism for 20, sometimes 25 years, even 30. Um, and I check their thyroid antibodies because the doctors that they've seen have never done it and they have really high antibodies. So they probably had this autoimmune condition leading to their hypothyroidism state the entire time and they didn't even know it. So again, this is why it's very important to test that, but just keep in mind, like I said, not everyone is hypothyroid or has hypothyroidism um, with Hashimoto's, but it can lead to that. And so that's why you wanna get those antibodies in check. Um, and also remember too, is that sometimes, you know, when we think about this autoimmune disease too, it's a progression. So sometimes people actually do get diagnosed with hypothyroidism and they don't have antibodies for a very long time. And then all of a sudden they start popping up um, years later. And it, again, it's because of the thyroid disease um, and all the things that were leading to that were never really, um, you know, investigated deeper to figure out why this was even there. So um, how can you reduce thyroid antibodies? There's a lot of different ways you can reduce them. Lifestyle is gonna be huge. Improving your gut health, one of the biggest reasons I see for elevated thyroid antibodies is it's actually coming from the gut because they're eating a lot of inflammatory foods like gluten, sugar, um, even dairy can be um, inflammatory for a lot of people with um, elevated thyroid antibodies. And so you also it, keep in mind too that I think a lot of people, I, I test all my clients with, um, a stool test. I think everyone with thyroid stuff should be looking at that because there's a lot of things that are triggering those antibodies coming from inside the gut. Also using supplements, things like aloe, drinking aloe juice or taking aloe supplements. Um, selenium has been shown to really reduce um, thyroid antibodies. A supplement also called Ovacetol, one of my favorite supplements, really good at reducing thyroid antibodies. I actually have a link below um, where you can check out Ovacetol 
how to order it. I actually have a discount um, as well that you can use that. Works fabulous. There's a lot of research coming out about this as well where it's reducing thyroid antibodies. I do recommend to work with a practitioner when you are taking a lot of supplements and things like that, but it, I want you to be able to check that out. Red light therapy has been phenomenal at, at reducing thyroid, um, improving your thyroid function and reducing um, TPO antibodies, um, thyroid peroxidase antibodies. Um, and then reducing your toxin exposure. You know, when we have a lot of toxins and things like that going on in the body, the liver has to work in overdrive. Um, and so that can really cause inflammation and, and create more havoc with those elevated antibodies. Now, if you're trying to figure out how do I even test for these antibodies, ask your doctor for two different ones. There's one called thyroid peroxidase and thyroid globulin. So it might look like TPO and TGAB. Those are the two biggies when we're thinking about um, our thyroid antibodies, um, particularly pertaining to um, Hashimoto's. Um, thyroiditis, um, because those are the, the more popular ones um, with that underactive um, thyroid activity. Um, keep in mind as well that everyone's journey looks very, very different. And so you really have to um, do all these testing to, to figure out, do I have these antibodies? Have they been there? Um, what's causing these antibodies? Uh, because everyone's very different with why they actually have them there. And that's why I mentioned a lot of the testing um, that I do. Now, if you are running into a problem where you're like, my doctor won't check these antibodies, there's a lot of ways you can do it. There are several different at-home test kits that I recommend. Um, you can actually use an online discount company as well that um, will send you your lab requisition, requisition and you can go to any lab core to do that. So if you need any information on that, just definitely um, drop a comment below, send me an email, let me know and I can get that information over to you. But I do have a link below for that Avocetol that I mentioned. I also have a link below um, for my guide called The Secret to Reading Your Thyroid Blood Test and it goes over all the things you should check on a thyroid blood test, um, the markers that I mentioned, particularly those antibodies, um, and then I can get you information as well on how to get them checked if your doctor won't run them. So let me know if you have any questions. I know um, a lot of people have never even heard of thyroid antibodies when they come to me um, because their doctor has never tested them and never mentioned it, that it could be an issue. So um, I hope this information helped you. Like I said, if you have more questions with this, just um, drop a comment below and I will get that information over to you as well. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.